Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Ventura, with me is Gorilla Metzo, and welcome to Monday Night Claw. Hello everyone, Gorilla Metzo in the house. It's the only wrestling programming on a Monday night worth paying any attention to. I'm here tonight to call it and tuck Jimmy in for his nap for the next couple hours. <laughs> we are live in Arlington, Texas, and we are going to start it off with one hell of a match folks get ready for the debut of the two men from yorkshire jbg and foxamania taking on the stalwart father son duo of breaking storm that's breaking dad and matt storm <laughs> they're one and one after last week polishing off the two heads champions dressed for business still not sure how that happened but then lean gara and then oria lenses brought them back down to earth getting the pinfall win on friday stand firm these two guys desperately need a win to stay in that title hunt and i just realized we forgot to post lean gara's <laughs> uh <laughs> his uh uh, his call out of Lemon is good to set up the very next match. Folks, I am going to put a link right now in the chat. And yes. something to say. Oh, God, what's happening? And uh, everyone should should need to should say it. Or, Jim, you could just play it before the match, I suppose. It's hard to play because it's not downloaded. Is it? It, was on, it was a YouTube right. link, so it's hard yeah, to do. Yeah, fuck that. It's also pretty long, unfortunately. I, I meant to ask him to clip it down and then just post it, and then I forgot. Lean, Gara, if you're in the chat. Oh, you are. Uh, you probably Actually, it's on your... You, Lean, Gara, just link it. God damn it. I'm a mess now. Lean, Gara, link your call out of Lemon is Good in the chat for us, if you would, because you got your match tonight, and I think a win there would... Uh, uh, would do something. Would, would lock in a title match in the future. Sorry, my brain fell apart for a few minutes. But... <laughs> Don't worry, mate. I've had my brain fall apart for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I just totally meant to be like, oh, yeah, let me post Lean Guerra's uh, promo in in uh, JFW channel, and then I totally forgot. <laughs> It's just not as good as if you'd sent us the video. Like, send, if you can send us the video, uh, like, uh, what's it called? Google Drive or whatever. I got the link right here, actually. Yeah, lo loading it up on, uh, I mean, I could have, I could have, I could, if I had cared, I, I mean, not if I could have cared, if I had thought of it, I could have downloaded it off of YouTube, too, but it's mm. a slight pain in the ass. There we go. Everyone go have a look. Lee and Gara had words to say. But that's for later tonight. Look at this. YPA. Tell us what YPA stands for, Jimmy Ventura. It's the Yorkshire Protection Agency. <laughs> <laughs> the YPA. That's right. Case of the Acolyte. The APA. It's JBG. It's York. Yeah, it's Yorkamania. <laughs> Foxamania. <laughs> it's a lot of acronyms, folks. <laughs> I also was thinking that, Bezel. <laughs> Looks like it could be a father son duo. <laughs> That's what else said that. Again, against another father son duo, <laughs> Breaking Dad. Okay. My brain's catching up to the stream slowly, Jim. By the end of this match, we'll be good to go. Apologies in advance to the four men in the ring right now. Mm -hmm. That's a good job. By, in about an hour's time, I'll have caught up to it, so that would be great then. Yeah. <laughs> the APA entrance is new, I don't think. Yorkshire Pale Ale. And starting off, a bit of a show of force there. JBG back in the, the smaller man into the corner. Oh, and kicking him in the head. 
Absolutely. Oh, but look at this. Oh, that was a modified self rock bottom. <laughs> you see that bust open, and it looks like he's killed him. He's completely <laughs> limp right now. Holy as shit. He as he tags in Foxamania. He just literally just murdered a child. <laughs> that, uh, that jumping, that jumping rock, that jumping self rock bottom that's been, uh, perfected, we thought, by Lebred Mask, uh, really being utilized there by JBG, and it looks like we've avoided catastrophe, and Matt Storm has recovered, but to what effect? He's getting his ass pummeled by Foxamania right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't know what J5 is referencing. Don't feel badly and Gary. Yeah, sorry. I completely pooched that because I wanted to put it in the show. But I wanted to cut it down to about a minute and a half. Because uh, anything longer than that, it's a little bit too long. Yeah. Um, and then I didn't do it. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just throw it in the Discord. And that'll that'll make it work. Yeah, that would have that would have worked. <laughs> Is it going to be a... Oh, God, okay. look at that. <laughs> Misses wildly with that drop kick. Six count here. Looks like Fox Mania is going to send him back in the ring, though. He does, on Just the seven count. Him. Oh, was that, uh, was Sprockets the pump you up or whatever? <laughs> Breaking Dad's pretty confused here. He's like, tag me in. And he's like, nah. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, the, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. J5, that's a deep cut there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh the look at this maneuver. Matt Storm desperately needs to tag in his dad. He absolutely does. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear, I can't believe he killed him early on with a modified self rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big counter. This, oh, look at this tornado DDT. Matt Storm in all kinds of trouble. Wow, I can't believe he got his name right. I've been I've been good. I've been good this last week, more or less. <laughs> Sit down, power bomb there, and JBG just taking it to the kid here. Yep. Yeah, Basil. Oh. And showing no mercy. And look at this, JBG setting up for the good cutter. He's no. got it. He's got it. Will he get the pinfall? Though the breaking dad is right there. How quick can Foxamania get in the ring? Not quick enough, clearly. <laughs> Breaks it up at a one count, and now somehow... Oh, no, nope, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. No. Everyone kind of forgot what they were doing for a minute. <laughs> it was a bit like the commentary box, Gorilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just felt bad for Lean Garrett because he put in a lot of effort on that, and I totally biffed it. Apologies again, Lean Garrett. We'll, uh... We'll... we'll We'll just make sure you beat Lemon. It'll be fine. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll predetermine your title match. It's cool. <laughs> oh shit, Lemon's actually here. Never mind. We're not gonna do that. This is uh, we're we're above the board here, Lemon. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Lemon. We never do that. <laughs> 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 yeah you'll you'll be fine you can go home and cry to your two-time tag team champion lifestyle <laughs> no no tonight is not it's a one-on-one -on -one match lemon it's just lean gara versus lemon is good each tag team partner will be managing in the corner we've seen oriolensis win matches from the corner <laughs> before 
We have indeed. Oh, boy, but I gotta, be be I, I gotta believe after Liam Gary did win last week on the uh, the non-canon totally canon tournament that I ran when Jim passed out. <laughs> He did get to call his title shot, and it sounds like he's gunning for those tag titles one more time. And yeah. this would be a good way to start off uh, getting that shot. I'll be Ooh. honest. I'll be honest, Gorilla. I thought you had played Lean Gary's video there, and that had been set up that way. You know. I think he. Uh, I think he recorded it after. No, he recorded it after that. I don't think he did, but that's what Pretty I thought. Straight, that's what I thought. I don't know. But it doesn't really matter but just to make sure i know you're wrong <laughs> you sent that to me uh on a saturday the day after um yeah he sent it to me on saturday the 14th friday the 13th was the day that you slept through stand firm was it yes well, so you're, you're, all... just just so we're clear i just want you to know that you're wrong and you should admit that you were wrong I was wrong. I've got no problem admitting I was wrong all the time. I'm, I'm very right. rarely right. <laughs> anyway, back to the action in the ring. Big boot by Foxamania. Another pinfall attempt here. And now, oh, JBG. Still so slow on the uptake. How is the biggest man in the ring out outmaneuvering everyone else? <laughs> oh, there's the leg drop. Oh, he hits the leg drop, but the ref distracted him. Well, the dirty him. tactics from JBG. Oh, but here we go. Here we go. He JBG getting ring. him out of the ring. He never and left the ring. And he's done it. Oh, YPS disgusting. has done it. Look at that. The Yorkshiremen coming together. It was a little bit rough early on for the, for the newly minted tag team, but that is a hell of a win to start things off. I think we're going to see more out of the YPA in this two heads division folks up top of that ladder lean gary lemon is good you got your match next you might not want to sleep on the yorkshireman holy moly what a what an event that was disgusting wasn't he, he just didn't leave the ring at all the uh, the ref was trying yeah. to get him to leave and he would not leave the ring and next up, we've got D. <laughs> it wasn't even the next match. I've been saying it was the next match the entire time. No, nah, you oh, were wrong. Fuck, sir. Admit you were wrong, Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Never. You <laughs> fucked up the order. <laughs> Did I? No, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I, Deer Hunter, I'd be surprised if you fucked up installing a graphics card. There's not much to <laughs> push it in the slot, man. <laughs> push it in the slot. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I'm here for life advice too. If anyone wants some, yeah, it's that's... the same advice. Just push in the slot, guys. <laughs> it's pretty great <laughs> advice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> You make them. You make them bring the hole to you, dear Hunter. Come on, man. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I'm lazy or anything, but yeah. <laughs> Just lie there and pray you don't fall asleep. <laughs> oh God, you know me too well, gorilla. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can tell we're distracted because we haven't even introduced the man of the hour making a long-awaited return to the television. Dave! In a non-title match against the Extra Arms Belt Champion, Frostlord. Frostlord will have Tony plays poorly in his corner. Dave looking for a signature win here. Remember, weight classes are gone. Dave, just a heavyweight, could compete for that former super heavyweight title that is the monday night claw exclusive title dave winning that could guarantee him a spot on nearly every single monday night but he's got to go through the big man of hashtag mighty af frost lord oh no 
Tony hasn't and bothered to clean that uh, championship <laughs> belt yet. <laughs> sure hasn't, and he looks like a jackass because of it. <laughs> He's well, that's probably right. been playing Battle Brothers and forgot to change it, but never mind. Frost Lord and Tony plays poorly. Mighty AF still dominating the, the gold <laughs> standard of the JFW, your extra arms belt champion, your world heavyweight champion. They are the top of the card on each show, even though they're wrestling in the mid card tonight. <laughs> yep. Oh dear me. Yeah, I agree with it. <laughs> Bazaar! <laughs> they sure are. No one can refute that, Frost Lord. Both of those titles were very elusive in the last few weeks. Tony plays poorly, had to go to war twice against. <laughs> against. Uh, uh, Descotti losing the first one, winning the second one to get it back. Frostlord won his match against Ardvac, but it was a hard-fought match, and it and and the long pursuit of the extra arms belt championship finally came to an end. And now you gotta believe he's not putting that thing down lightly. Could a win here by Dave <laughs> next challenger, or will this just be? A one and done <laughs> on Monday Night Claw. <laughs> no, no, J5, we're talking about Frostlord. We, we, we're still on subject. <laughs> Bazaar. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we were talking about graphics cards and ports, weren't we? Weren't we? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, a vicious elbow there. I just, just quietly, I called Frost Lord a vagina there, and no one seemed to care. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> the blueberry dildos. <laughs> oh, God. Dave just tossing him everywhere. And on wrestling stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the blue ballers. Oh, now he's tossing him off. Wow. Oh, this is a long taunt. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad idea by Frost Lord there. Under, uh, <laughs> underestimating Dave's ability to recover from a basic attack. <laughs> But Frostlord, one of the one of the purest strikers in the JFW. Look at that three punch combo into the gut punch and the choke, and now the pinfall right on those ropes there. <laughs> another another Tom, but this time he gets away with it. Oh, not yep. this one. Oh uh, no, no. <laughs> oh man, was he trained by Levin is good or something? <laughs> Invert or no regular atomic drop there by Dave, and this is his opening here. Could have been a little bit of championship, uh, championship gold going to Frost Lord's head for a moment, and that could be a critical error. Dave, look at that slam! Here's incredible. the pinfall, not even a one count. That incredible stuff though from Dave. Speaking of Dave, how you doing today? Dave, social media manager, media manager. <laughs> I, I mean, Dave does kind of look like a monkey. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If anyone got can. The, the teeth and everything. So. I'd, put, I'd put humorous chip number one and Dave <laughs> number two. <laughs> Oh, oh nice, nice spine buster. I like the form on that one. One big fluid motion. No no unnecessary snap. And here's the pinfall attempt. A little hopeful, I think. Yep. Gets the one count. <laughs> oh, but here we go. Oh, the, shit. The, the most famous finisher in all of France. <laughs> oh, no, he slipped. No, oh, wait, no, Tony. He oh, Tony. 
the acting GM of the JFW getting involved in this match. You hate to see it. Tony plays poorly, distracting the ref and Frostlord <laughs> back to his feet. Oh, man, shocking. Oh, oh and look at this. Last ride, powerball. Oh, 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 God. oh, God, no. Oh, he broke his damn neck. He broke his damn neck on those ropes. Into the pedigree. Count it, one, two, three. And that's how the champ's going to take this match. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, that was brutal. <laughs> Well, it looks like six feet down <laughs> under has got another recruit, <laughs> folks. <laughs> oh, boy. Six feet Dave under. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Night Demon, the Wem Dope Champion, main eventing Monday Night Claw in a title defense against the Red Mask, the Flim Plum Pluserweight himself. The Friday fuckboy, can he get it done on Monday? <laughs> We're going to find out in your main event later tonight. Yeah. What a what a match. It, normally that would have been a forgettable throwaway squash, but uh, the fact that he fucking murdered a guy made it memorable. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of plim plom pluser weights, we've got a four-way of little men in the ring. Lemon is good. Get your baby oil out. Here we go. It's Papa Piccolo. It's Geeks War Gaming Blue Bomber. And I'm too noob for you in a four-way extreme elimination rule. We saw this last week. We saw this the week before to get Crispy Ice his title. The winner of this match will face the Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship champion crispy ice on friday stand firm for that title who's it gonna be one of these four men yeah can't argue with that one of these four men <laughs> six feet bend over <laughs> 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 fair enough lemon <laughs> That's pretty I'm good, glad, GFI. I'm glad you corrected me. That's pretty good, GFI. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, a bird, a brummy, Mega Man and Dark Elf. Yeah, it's quite, quite the gimmicks for this match, isn't it? <laughs> good lie. <laughs> What's a brummy mean? Uh, I don't know. It's like, it's somebody from, you know, Dudley, uh, you know, that kind of neck of the woods of Birmingham. But I don't know why they call them brummy. Interesting. Oh, Lemon could not handle the Gorilla Glue. Yeah, Birmingham, but I don't know why it's... But there's West Brom, isn't there? Is that something to do with Brom and then Brom? I don't know. Well, the Brummy weight himself, Geeks Wargaming, made a name for himself in the weirdest possible way in Skirmetsu's high intensity tournament, but he's floundered a bit since then. This could be a surefire way for Geeks Wargaming to get back on track. Yeah. But standing in his way at about five foot two is Mega Man himself, <laughs> the Blue Bomber. He's coming out hot and he's coming out for this four way elimination match. He has had a title shot in the past. He always entertains, but he has yet to get the gold around his waist. And this could be how he does it. It could indeed. Prop. Probably not, though. It's pretty great, the 8-bit music. I love that. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Purple Chest. Mm. Weird, eh? Thanks, PC. Ran Bromwickham.
Ah, so is that where West Bromwich Albion is that what that is that what's that from? Why is he not so proud of his abs anymore? Because J5 Cocky's taken that entrance. <laughs> but this works better for him anyway, I think. Because he's got the hand and everything. Yeah, no, it looks pretty good actually. All right, next out, Papa Piccolo, another long-standing staple of the Plim Plum Pluserweight division, has yet to really put anything together. A win tonight and a win on Friday could be a huge stepping stone for the noble one himself, Papa Piccolo. <laughs> He has the, the only real option, Levin. Yeah. It's good that some people knew he was he was copied off the guy, you know, well, inspired by the guy in uh, that movie. You know. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I can't resist doing that. Um... What was the movie? King Arthur, was it, or something? What are you even referencing right now? That was a movie, but it was quite good. Dead old, though. Excalibur? Oh, God, he's got the same entrance. <laughs> Excalibur. This isn't his entrance. That's not the one I gave him. No, it's the one that I gave him. Originally, he's supposed to so have... I gave uh, him it back to him. Yeah. But then I forgot I'd given it to him. No, his previous entrance was perfectly fun. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one. I'm so I've given it to you. Cool. Awesome, Jim. All right, well. <laughs> fucking full of it tonight. Here he is. I'm too noob for you. The literal fucking dark elf. Yeah. It is a dark elf lineman, yeah. Excalibur. Yeah, Excalibur, there you go. And there, there is Mordred, wasn't it? Mordred in Excalibur, that's what that was what is the inspiration for his uh Gotcha. Thing was. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's go back to the yeps for a bit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. And here we go. Fatal four way extreme elimination match. Which one of these men will get their title shot in the Plim Plum Pluserweight division on Friday night? Stand firm. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not Blue Bomber. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, that's not going to be topped, is it, for the rest of the match? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, he, it seems to have worked just enough to get, uh, <laughs> to get <laughs> I'm Too Noob for You into this state of distress here because Blue Bomber working him over. No, nice counter there by I'm Too Noob for You turning him around and into that slide suplex. Outside of the ring, an even contest between Geeks Wargaming and Papa Piccolo. Papa unloading some fists, no countered by <laughs> Geeks Wargaming. Back in the ring, on top is I'm too new for you. No, it's not. It's Mega Man. I mean Blue Bomber. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. And now sent out of the ring, Blue Bomber on the apron there. Oh, oh it looks like he's coming right back in the hard way. Look at this. Neck breaker, hanging Ooh. neck breaker. And he's rolled his way out. Oh, hey. <laughs> no, he got him on the second one. Got him on the return. <laughs> oh, God. What a clusterfuck. Absolutely. Blue Bomber getting a little bit of uh, free recovery time outside of the ring. That's rare when there's all four guys still in. <laughs> oh, man. 
And there we go. We've <laughs> traded dance partners. Blue Bomber versus Papa Piccolo. Geeks Wargaming versus I'm Too Noob for you. Jimmy, stop chuckling. It's fucking... <laughs> It's fucking throwing me off. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, man. Really strange four-way match. We've always we've been having all this like three-way action with one guy recovering. Very rare. Here's a hopeful pinfall. Just a one count on Blue Bomber. Yep. Yeah, yeah, very true, JBG. <laughs> very true. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Oh, gosh. Introducing Geeks Wargaming to the middle turnbuckle the hard way oh, there. Oh, amazing. love that. Love that power slam. Oh, wow. I'm too noob for you. He's been pretty fired up this match. He has indeed, yeah. And look at this. Oh, no, no. Looks like Geeks able to power out of whatever was happening there. And now I'm too noob for you in a bit of trouble here getting sent out of the ring. In comes Blue Bomber to do absolutely... Nope, there he goes. He finally hit Papa Piccolo. <laughs> and look at this. Pump handle slam. Beautifully done. And the pinfall on Papa Piccolo here. <laughs> He's got him. He got him with the three count. Blue Bomber Holy out of shit. nowhere. Pinning Papa Piccolo oh, off boy. of. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Going up top to go outside. Papa Piccolo eliminated. Blue, <laughs> Blue Bomber <laughs> fell like a missile there. If this were Mega Man, he'd be out and starting the level over. <laughs> Much. He's very bright, isn't all, he, uh, Blue Bomber? He sure is. All three men on the on the floor now. Geeks recovering, getting to. I'm too noob for you. Oh dear! Oh god, Geeks just throwing himself on the ground. Jeebus. Purple chest, you are not correct. Always get high. You see things you normally wouldn't. <laughs> oh. oh, Geek's bloodied now and sent down. No one wanting to go in the ring here. This is not false count anywhere, so the only way this is... Oh, no. <laughs> the only way this is ending is in that ring. Got oh, some brutal suplexes here. Absolutely. Underhook suplex. What the hell? Impressive. Oh, he misses with his, his uh, helicopter. Oh, hey, another miss drop kick. This is brilliant, isn't it? Oh, misses yeah. with a punch. <laughs> <laughs> really showcasing the athleticism and agility of these competitors to dodge all these attacks so uh, perfectly. Yes, yes, definitely what they're doing. <laughs> Swinging suplex there by Blue Bomber. Oh, and a beautiful inverted suplex. Power slam, I mean. Just gets a one count. Uh, welcome aboard, Fox Mania. You missed your match. I think you're going to want to watch the VOD on that one, though. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> Three of woe for Blue Bomber. Just gets him kicked in the gut. I'm too new for you. Looking to eliminate him here. It's been a long match. Maybe. No, just the two count and Blue Bomber able to kick out. Oh, what a maneuver. Oh, boy. And now here we go. I'm too new. Noob going top rope. He's got two prone men. Which one is he going to insert himself onto? Oh, he drives that elbow into the lower back of Geeks Wargaming, but Blue Bomber up to punish him for it. Oof. Look at that. Pinfall after the suplex, just a one count. <laughs> and now Blue Bomber just going to sit outside <laughs> while the uh, Geeks crawls over for a pin, doesn't get the one count. <laughs> oh, 
Indeed, I think that's Brutal his finisher, maneuver. isn't it? I think that's his finisher, but he hasn't gone for the, for the uh, no. pin. Oh, oh and look at that. That I believe that's I'm Two Noobs finisher. He might get both these men here. Look at this. And that's going to do it for Geeks. It's Blue Bomber. It's I'm Too Noob for you. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I think it was a spear, but he forgot to do the spear part of it. I think it was the flying nothing that people do, you know, when they get counted. <laughs> yeah. Here's a pinfall, though. Nice pinfall. Hooks the leg. Only a two count. Will we see that finishing maneuver by Blue Bomber? No, he's going for a weapon here. Oh, boy. This is no, no, no DQ. He could yeah. nail Extreme him with the Extreme rules. He's got the oh, chair, God. but very slow with it and gets clotheslined and drops the chair. Never to be seen again. No, oh, what's he doing here? Probably just going to wait till he's counted. No, he actually gets a maneuver in. Yeah, drops him on the apron there. I'm too noob, standing him up and stretching out in front of him. <laughs> and now maybe going to attempt the pinfall. He uh, Blue Bomber's had a ton of time to recover here. And gets out of two. Weapons usually are PC. <laughs> I play on Xbox. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, weapons uh, usually are like in the jet to be Nice float over DDT by I'm too noob for you. Will we see that beautiful rainbow cutter by Oh, look at this. Nice counter there into the power bomb. Will we see that finisher by Blue Bomber? That would surely end this match. Instead, he's looking for another weapon to not use. <laughs> and can't find one. <laughs> oh, maybe going for that chair. He is going Holy for the chair. Holy shit. Oh, and throws no, no. it on the ground. <laughs> no, he threw it on the ground. <laughs> Oh, wow. And just go punched in the face. Chair proof. Good old Dimmy. Chair proof Dimmy. Oh wow. The... Dimmy is not in this match, Jim. I know, but he's chair proof. He said chair proof. Chair proof. Alright, well, I. <laughs> Blue Bomber down and looking out. I'm too noob for you. Stalking over. Still needs to bring him back in the ring for the pinfall here. And there it is. Sends him in the ring. Follows in. Could have him here. Yep. Here's the attempt. Oh. Just a two count. Blue Bomber kicks out. Oh, and here we go. Here we go, folks. Oh. This is the finisher. Blue Bomber setting him up. What a maneuver. That's Boom, crazy. there it is. He hits it. That's got to be it. In for the pinfall right away. The one, the two. No. The two and a half kick out. Unbelievable. Somehow I'm too noob for you. Recovering enough to stay in this match. He gets the under uh, the double leg takedown and does nothing to press his advantage. <laughs> oh, but the Famouser busts him open, might have bent that nose guard into his face there. And oh. now here we go. This is his finisher. Oh, boy. Is it going to be? I'm too noob for you. Yeah, Blue Bomber's taking a ton of damage. This is it. it and is. that's it. I'm too noob for you withstanding the rainbow cutter getting the pinfall win and inserting himself into a title match on friday stand firm against crispy ice it's gonna be two masked ninjas against each other should be a wild one for the plim plum loser weight title yeah unbelievable elf bullshit that's what that's the name of his finisher elf bullshit it's gotta be isn't it sounds good <laughs> sounds good to me <laughs> He does have a bit of a white goblin ride, yeah. 
I mean, that's basically what elves are. They're just white goblins. Right? Yeah, they are, aren't they? <laughs> and next up, folks, get ready for this one. Johnny Five versus Muppet Pac-Man. Last week, we saw Muppet Pac-Man's Plim Plom Plus Away Championship match get interrupted and spoiled by an attack by Johnny Five outside the ring. J5 found the most creative way to win that match. <laughs> Getting himself suplexed, and oh, woe is B to Muppet. He lost because of it. Now he's getting him one-on-one. -on -one. Should be a match. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, he's in the wrong gear, but that's fine. No, he's not. He wanted to be. He was back in the snackers, wasn't he? And then he's not in, he, want, he wanted to be back in his red and yellow anyway. And here we go, J5 leading the hoe train out. You can see all of his not hoes as he works his way down the ramp to face. Oh my gosh, <laughs> who could have thought this was gonna happen? Satterfield from behind with a chair running down, J5. Get some halfway down the ramp. That's better than a lot of people that have tried these attacks. <laughs> yes, it is. Sending him further down. Satterfield, I think he hit him. We're going to count that as a hit. And here it is. J5 not going to get his match against Muppet. <laughs> He's trying to swim. It's fucking I know. Stupid. Not even going to get his swimmies off as he gets stopped. <laughs> He's stuck like a turtle on his back with that inflatable duck around his waist. He can't seem to stand up. Can't wait to see him win this one. Oh my god, Nate in the fucking head. This is brutal. Satterfield, just the hatred spilling over between all three of the unnatural snackers. Someone's gonna have to do something here to get this. Oh, 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 and Satterfield just completely annihilating J5. <laughs> Don't know how he's going to claim victory on that one to keep his unbeaten streak. No, that's, uh, that was a really Didn't well, even get to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> Absolutely savage. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, dear. Satterfield, J5, and Muppet Pac-Man have really got to do some soul searching. But you want to talk about tag teams and success. Here you go. Dress for business and Das Hots. We're getting one half of each. Lean Guerra calling out Lemon is Good earlier on today. You can see the call out here. Please go watch it because I forgot to put it in anywhere more relevant. And I do appreciate that Lean Guerra took the time to film that promo. Calling out Lemon is Good saying they're coming back one more time for those titles. But right now it's one on one. Cowboy versus Fruit. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. A, a battle as old as time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 uh, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Watch the promo. Basically, Lean Gary calls out Lemon on his whining and complaining. And says, real champs wear hats. That's it. It's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, yeah, cowboy versus fruit. Amazing. You've got plants versus zombies. <laughs> now you've got cowboys versus fruits. <laughs> and he's kind of a zombie, uh, zombie cowboy, too. Yeah, he kind of is. He's the country wizard. Gonna summon him up. Can you say about Das Hots? I mean, they've been called the dirtiest players in the game. 
but who hasn't in the JFW these days? <laughs> they've been your t- two heads champions. Folks, they've done it all. Lean Guerra almost winning Skiramezzo's high intensity tournament in a in a in a main event battle against Fant Fox, who will be outside of the ring managing this one. I don't know, you're not cheating. I mean, the fact that Oriolensis uh, flied around the earth to turn back time and then he he levitated to win the uh, championship belts. I just think that's, uh, you know. Well, hey, I don't know what you're talking about specifically there about flying around the earth to turn back time, but uh, I'm not subscribed to your fan fiction, so why don't you leave that <laughs> for uh, off-TV conversation. Right now, we're focused on the hard facts, and the hard facts are Das Hot are one of the top tag teams in the JFW, but the only gold around their waist right now are those double belt buckles of Lean <laughs> Garrett's. And they sure do want another shot at the Two Heads Championship coming out right now around the waist of the shitheads themselves dressed for business. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <that> sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, the pits of hell. <laughs> and here we go, one-on-one action, grudge match. Lean Gara calling for this one, Ooh. and he's taking the fight right to Lemon is Good, running DDT to the champ. I saw Murloc Joe streaming Blood Bowl earlier today too, Tom Schniz. Wow. I know. Next, next we're going to have fucking uh, Russ Loam and... Uh, um, Jimmy Fantastic. No, no, fuck that guy. Um, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Scooter? Shitty DJ. Oh, Luke. Luke back. <laughs> I don't know if he's a shitty DJ. I've never listened to his, his music. All, I just assume all DJs are probably shitty. <laughs> yes, yeah, Shawnee. A return from Shawnee. Oh, wow, look at that. What a maneuver. Oh, God, Russ would be amazing. Hey, hey, hey now. No, it would be, we it don't, would be amazing. We don't need Russ. If anything, if me and Russ doing it, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't. I, you kind of can't have two color guys. Although I guess I'm more of a play-by-play guy. Yeah, it'd be, and a it'd color be guy. amazing. It'd be amazing <laughs> yeah. if it was you two. Holy shit, I could just uh, do yeah, the application. Yeah, man. yeah, fair enough. Well, <laughs> I bet he watches wrestling. <laughs> yeah, I bet he does, yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd be really hyped about it. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm so hyped right now, guys. <laughs> it'd be awesome. Because, you know, half of us are bringing the show down. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that'll be a fun week and a half water oil for some folks. Oh, dear. Yeah, oh look did, at that. Yeah. He went for the side Russian leg sweep and decided to go to the front instead. Didn't seem to have the effect he wanted. Lean Guerra up, shoulder tackle, and pin. Only a one count. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God, this is really exciting. <laughs> well, the more you yawn and point out how tired and bored you are, <laughs> the worse the show is, Jim. Sorry, this is great. I'm not tired at all, and I'm not yawning. Are you oh. done? A leg drop to the arm. I don't know how that's meant to hurt his arm whatsoever, but I'm sure it hurt Lean Gary's ass. <laughs> but here's here a, lemon comes a lemon drop out of nowhere with this one nails it could get a pinfall here no look at that oriolensis 
distracting the ref poorly. <laughs> <laughs> ref never turned around whatsoever. <laughs> but no pinfall was happening anyway. Lean Guerra back in charge here, surviving that early lemon drop. He certainly did. Oh, there are vicious kicks to this uh, this padded, um, whatever the hell that is, blood inflatable <laughs> muscles. And Lean Guerra going for a pinfall here. I think he needs a bit more. Got Oof. the two count, though. Oh, God, he's battering him, isn't he? Sure is. Stands him up. No counter dragon screw. Nice move by Lemon. And going for the pin. What are these two guys doing? <laughs> Have they ever watched a wrestling match before in their lives? <laughs> Doesn't seem, oh, there you go. Lemon just wanted to get an advantage so he could celebrate a little bit, and it worked out as intended. Arm oh, oh, no! Trouble, Trouble in, paradise. in Paradise out of nowhere! He, he cold got oh, him with it, but now Oriolent is casting a spell, a distraction spell on Lemon, <laughs> saving him from the pinfall there. And that oh. got Lee Guerra in for the Scorpion Death Drop again. Oh, and here's the pinfall. Oh. Two count kick out. I thought the magic was going to happen again from the Nor or the the country wizard himself. I almost called him a Norse country, <laughs> but he's not. He's not. He's the country wizard. And and folks, if you'd never seen them before, that's why they're so devastating. No, they haven't done shows. That was pretty good <laughs> lemonade. That was good. <laughs> this is not Canal's chat where you get banned for cheese puns. Oh, there's the... Oh, uh, the stinger splash. The walking stinger splash. <laughs> setting up for another scorpion death drop, I think. Yep. Yes, indeed. Hits it. This has got to be it. It's gotta Lemon's got to be out after that. Very basic oh, slam move. No. Oh, look at this! Fan Fox now getting involved, getting the ref distracted, even though he's standing right over the pin. Wow! Fan Fox saying, "You know what? You can do. You can do this. So can I." These two teams just hate each other, folks. They sure do. Oof. And this, this match is going to continue. Both of these competitors have been that close to losing it. Lean Guerra fighting demons there for a second. Yeah, basically the same. Better! <laughs> the, head locked in, uh, the headlock locked in on that gigantic lemon head. Yeah, he's really trying to, trying to put him to sleep here. Finally breaks it and gets right back up. Oh, Running oh, Bulldog. Oh. Saw a bit of juice fly out of the top of him there. Probably needs to be on the inside. <laughs> and sent into the corner. Lean Guerra. Could be moments away oh, here. Big oh, walking nice. stinger splash. <laughs> and he's a bit <laughs> winded himself from that impact. <laughs> thinking about the pinfall. No, he's not. Thinking about getting countered. Oh. Look at this. Beautiful maneuver, and he fucking <laughs> celebrates it. He's been getting his ass kicked for about eight minutes straight, and now he's celebrating. But now Lean Guerra up on his feet, spinning him all around into the pinfall. Here we go. Wound him up, but only got the two count. Oh, dear me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Big kick in the corner there, and now he's going to set him up and drop him. Doesn't hold on for a pinfall, but he's a bit staggered. Is he thinking about another trouble in paradise, maybe? Yeah. Oh, he's going to wrench that knee. What a match between these two. And now a third Scorpion death drop lined oh, up boy. here. Does this he have him? He's, He's got, got him. He's got him down. And here comes the pinfall attempt. Ref counting this one. This is it. Huge and win. And there it is. Lean Gary. Three scorpion death drops. A little bit of help from the outside. 
gets the pinfall victory over Lemon is good. And I got to think this is a sign of things to come. Doss Hats versus Dress for Business is in your future. We just don't know when. Get ready. We might have new tag team champs. Oh, boy. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. And oh, now it's time for the main event. It sure is the Wem Dope Championship on the line. Le Bread Mask with an incredible eight man battle royale victory on Friday. Stand firm to get this spot. He's going to have Flicky Flack in his corner from Plain White Toast. On the other side of the ring, your Wem Dope Champion, Night Demon, will have both members of six feet down and uh, in his corner as he defends his wem dope title for the second time down and uh. oh, <laughs> That's right, J5. JBG said was that the dog talking there, but it wasn't. The following contest is the, did you fart or something? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and here he is, Le Bread Mask, Le Plume Blanc Blue, <laughs> Tom Schniz himself. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Flicky Flack out there to coach him. Plain White Toast, the dominant force in the non-existent big man, little man division. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Never Goliath. Never going to play this game. Next time we have to do a slap fest fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I might play it at some point. Yeah. I don't think you'd be able to handle that, though. I think you'd get too competitive about it and try and slip in, like, a DDT or something. <laughs> I definitely would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably not, J5, no. Maybe me. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe, maybe me well. just trying to record matches. Mm -hmm. No, you've definitely spent more time on your stream. Mm -hmm. All right, here is one third. Here is two thirds. And here's the whole fucking tomato. I don't know why I said <laughs> tomato. <laughs> <laughs> but it is six feet down out there. Your Wem Dope Champion, Night Demon, the All Tomato. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Total Recall Glorious. <laughs> nice, J5. <laughs> <sighs> they look primed and ready for this one. Night Demon looks to be a fighting Wem Dope champion. <laughs> he sure does. His jacket really clipping through that belt shows how much he wants to keep it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, PC, good point. <laughs> Look at how PC. But across the ring, 
you've got Tom Schnez. He's your he's a two time no. Is he a two time Plim Plum Pluserweight champion? No. No, he's not. Sorry. I was mistaking him for Skurmetsa, the two time SFL champion. <laughs> My bad. Oh, God. My bad. <laughs> oh, is this how every every single episode of JFW is gonna go? Pardon me. Just a just a just a just a fuck up on my part. <laughs> but he is a former Plim Plom Pluserweight champion. He knows the taste of gold. He also knows the taste of bread because he basically, while there is one printed on his mask, he actually puts a slice on the inside before every match. <laughs> <down>. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Absolutely. Does he put two on his ass cheeks as well? Every everywhere you see bread printed, there's a real slice of bread underneath. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, he hasn't got one in his car, I'm disappointed. Uh, <laughs> no, he's just got a flirt to lee down there. That's actually what all French Canadian penises look like. Oh, they look like flirt to lees. Okay. The balls kind of flay out on the side like that, and then they're like more like hook shaped. That's just the, I mean that's just that's just science, Jim. Okay. What a maneuver this is, holy shit. Some flimsy league filled with some of the best blood bowlers uh, this side of the Mississippi purple chest, even though none of them live on this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they live on that side of the Mississippi if you go around the yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> Populated enough. by a bunch of CCL winners and Skuro and J5. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It was so competitive, Jim had to drop out because he just couldn't hang. Twice. <laughs> uh, no, not 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 all American. It's two divisions. There's a European division and an American division. It's just happen it just so happens that all of the champions are Americans, more or less. <laughs> and I only say that because I make up like the majority of the champions in that league. You may have heard I've heard it twice now. <laughs> All right. No, you haven't. You're Gorilla Metzo. Look at the fucking match you break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you want to focus on the match. Okay. <laughs> well, Night Demon trying to get that piece of bread out from under the mask fails to do so. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> get off my fucking break. Oh, dear. <laughs> Quit a one and five. Thanks, Buzz. <laughs> oh, here we go. Deadlift, German suplex. No, into that back body drop. Night Demon. Oh, look at this. Right back in for another one here. Oh, flapjacks him. Brutal stuff. This is incredible stuff. Oh, and beautiful Nike. full Nelson suplex, yeah. And right into the zombie. Oh my goodness, Night Demon regulating right now. Oh and he God. hits it. He gets that so quick. Flicky can't believe it. That's it. <laughs> and that is going to do it. The Friday fuckboy has fallen on Monday. You got to know <laughs> he's more of a Friday party kind of guy. Night Demon with the easy, easy championship retention there. Wins the match, and look at this. Tom Schniz, an excellent sport, looking to shake hands with Night Demon. Yep, fair enough. Definitely that makes sense. Yeah. As Night Demon has basically ruined our main event by just dominating <laughs> Tom Schniz there. Le Bread Mask eliminated from that one. Six feet down, and uh, continues <laughs> to reign in the Wem, Wem Dope division. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, go the fuck <laughs> home because the show is over. My name is Gorilla Metso. Thank you so much for having me. As always, Jim, I will see you guys on Friday. Stand firm. Glorious. Thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>